Hello ladies and gentlemen, Luke Rethke here and a couple of weeks ago I shot a video called Ron and Rand Traders Paul question mark and the reason why I did that was because Rand Paul has endorsed Mitt Romney uh, that's probably not news to very many people I wouldn't think but uh, and then about a week later which has been about a week ago I suppose uh, Ron Paul said that he was definitely not going to follow suit, that he did not support Mitt Romney, and he seems like he's he's going to keep doing the same things. Well, at least till, at least probably till the till the election. Till he's probably going to retire after that, the way it sounds. But Rand Paul, on the other hand, he seems like he's just going in. He's really playing politics. He's dodging the questions now that he used to answer. Uh, just a few short weeks ago about Bilderberg Group and he said that he didn't uh, consider sanctions an act of war it's it's definitely an act of war it's it's uh, financial warfare it's financial terrorism uh, people's people die and starve because of that and he didn't want to admit that so I really don't don't uh, have too many good things to say about him uh, he, he seemed like he was propped up when he did the endorsement, uh, which makes it even worse. I mean, he's not even, he's not even really speaking from the heart. He's just, he could have been reading a teleprompter for all I know. Uh, it, but something didn't seem right there. So I guess that's just my two cents here. Ron Paul, he seems like he's still steadfast. Rand Paul, he's playing the game and needs to be watched. He's more of a neocon than a libertarian. So anyway, this is Luke Rethke. Thanks for watching and have a great day.